Okay, welcome to Power Driven Diesel's demonstration of our new tu our new turbo tuner. This is our wastegate tuning device that you can can take away drive down the road. A lot of boost controllers in the market. Uh, most of them are made for gasoline engines. This one's uh, designed specifically for turbo diesels. The difference being is a bleed orifice. All of those have a bleed in them that it just bleeds out boost externally. And they do that so you can have a place for the the pressure to go when you let off the gas the pressure to go away so this thing can go back to closed and um, on a gas that's not a big problem because they cruise around under vacuum and when you're under boost you won't hear that bleed orifice anyway but in a turbo diesel that cruises around a boost all the time uh, for one it's a it's a leak which is annoying and two you're gonna hear it in your cab so you can't mount it inside your cab I tried it didn't work so this one is the first that I know of a boost control designed only for turbo diesels in that all of the relief for relieving this pressure is all done internally. There's no boost leak, there's no bleed orifice, and uh, we can control it while we drive down the road. So right now I have this thing wide open. It's as if there's no air in there at all. And so what we're going to do is we're going to simulate turbo boost by a compressed air to see how this thing reacts in the in real life situations. So right now we have no boost. I mean if you watch these gauges you'll see how much boost gets to this thing. So I'm going to slowly increase this. Right now we have about five, and there's about ten. It just moved. At ten psi, we just cracked this thing, and so now there's no pressure on this thing here. I can actually kind of move this little thing here. So any the pressure is going to be from inside. There'll be ten psi inside the turbine housing, or more, pushing this thing open. So right now we have a drive pressure bleed. It's going to open up and start bleeding uh, drive pressure. Not a lot. You'll still be able to make boost with this, but it is going to slow down your response to touch. Now as your boost increases on this particular one now now we're starting to move here we're at 15 psi you can see it's starting to move here 20 psi and so now it's diverting enough that it's going to really start slowing down your response you're about to where you're going to make boost on this one a little bit more now you're up to th oh, 30 psi it's got a lot of travel how much do we need for max travel for 35 35. Now, after 35, it traveled no further. So this thing reaches max travel at 35 psi. So you are wastegating a uh, maximum wastegate potential of this turbine housing at 35 psi. So you're, uh, if you had enough fuel to get that high, you'll get it at 35. If you have more fuel, you may get higher. If you have enough, uh, you know, but that's that's some opening right there, and it starts to crack open at 10. And so, you know, we want to slow that down. I'd rather have it uh, for a turbo diesel, for one, we're going to want a lot more boost than that. Any, any performance application on a, on a diesel truck is going to need way more than that amount of boost. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust this. What this does is this is going to stop all boost from the, tur from the turbocharger reaching this side, the actuator housing, until our preset amount, which is whatever we decide to be. So right now I'm just going to do right there. I just did a few turns. We'll do some trial and error. This is going to stop the boost from this side to that side until a certain number, at which point we'll let it through. And here we go. Let's see what happens. So now we're at 5, nothing through, 10, nothing through. So we now have 10 pounds of boost, and this thing has full closure. All the spring pressure is holding us tight. At before this, we were starting to lose drive pressure. Right now, we have not lost any. Uh, let's go a little higher. See, we start. You know, there's 15. Okay, so fifth, about 14 is where it cracked. You'll notice this here is about 15 pounds of boost. This is about one pound of boost. So whatever pressure you have on this side, this is going to be um, one for one. So if this cracks at 15, this and you're now at 20 psi over here, this is going to be five. So it's going to be one to one ratio. Any anything, any amount of boost over cracking pressure here, you'll just have that amount over here. So if you got 25 here, you have five. 30 over here, 30. If 20 is your cracking pressure, so. You'll notice that these are very different. So even though we have 20 pounds of, oh well, let's go up to 20 pounds of boost here. Let's see. Okay, so 20 pounds of boost. We have about 9 to 10 pounds of pressure over here. So this probably cracked at around 10 psi, and I just went past it. So it, so we have 10 psi going here. So now we're at 20 pounds of boost, and this thing is now just about to crack. I can see now it's now it's light. There's no pressure here. This thing is now taking the tension off the spring. And so now as we go up, let's go up to see when it fully opens. We're at 30 pounds of boost, and we're at about a little shy of 20 pounds of, of wastegate pressure. Now we're up to about 30, 40 pounds of boost, and we're about to uh, not quite 30 pounds of wastegate pressure. So we need to go 
to get to full travel. We're about 45, about 45 pounds of boost in order to m maximum waist gate travel. So that's going to speed up your response a lot. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe we want a lot more than that. So that may yield, depending on your feeling setup and what you've been in your truck, that may yield 40 pounds of boost, 45, I'm not sure, but you'll be able to play with this while you're driving. Give it floor it, see what it does, let off, make an adjustment, floor it again, see what it does, let off, make an adjustment. That's how you turn your tu turbo. So I'm going to say I want some more. That was a little bit too lazy for me. I want the wastegate closed a little bit longer. So I made a few turns here. Let's see what we get. Okay, now we're up to 10 PSI, nothing. 15 PSI, still no pressure through. 20 PSI, still no pressure through. This the thing is still as tight as if it was no pressure. doesn't even know there's any pressure here. Really good turbo response. It's moving up hard. Okay, we cracked around 23 it looked like. So now let's get to 30 pounds of boost here. So 30 pounds of boost, we are at 10 PSI. Okay, so this one's right at 20 PSI when this thing cracked. This thing didn't let anything through until around 20, 25 or so. so. Now this thing has just released. So we're at thir 30 pounds of boost, and this thing is now just cracking a touch. And so you're already making some good power. So now we're going to see what we need. You might not even, now we're to 35, and we're to 15, just like before. As, as this goes up 5, this goes up 5. It's just going to kind of match itself. So now we're at 40 pounds of boost, and we're at uh, 30 pou 20 pounds there. 45, 25. So this is about a 20 over on this one. And so to get to, we're going to have to get about 55 pounds of boost to get our 35 here. So we're at 55 pounds of boost before we get full travel. And so that's just how this works. And you can adjust all this while you drive down the road. And you'll see as the boost gets off, there's no bleed orifice. What you're hearing over here is a regulator if you hear anything. But the, 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 the boost can bleed back and go up, turbo goes up. This is still well behind your boost. You're controlling it all with this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how this works uh, on the dyno. We're gonna, we have it hooked up on a test truck. We're going to show you how to tune this and what things will really be helpful when tuning this uh, on a real truck.